Evan with Green Thumb here. Um, I just got through taking soil samples and measurements at a potential customer's lawn we're going to refer to as MF's lawn. Um, so when we look at MF's lawn, it's really a, just a, a mix of broadleaf weeds right now. Um, I see some Bermuda coming up. Um, there's a little bit of fescue in the center area and over on that side and just a very little in here, none over there. <clears throat> but we've actually surprisingly already got summer weeds coming up. Um, we see some Dallas grass here. Um, maybe I, I might have seen some crab grass as well, but it's pretty early for this Dallas to be coming out, but that's, that's Dallas grass there. <clears throat> we got some clover. We've got chickweed. I've seen a little bit of hen bit. Um, there's really just a little bit of everything in here. Uh, nimble wheel, Bermuda, Dallas. Um, uh, pretty much everything except uh, violets. So, well, actually there is some violets. So we have a few violets in here. Um, it starts to get real thick over here. This is probably where the neighbor's uh, lawn care service is probably coming over the line a little bit and it's real healthy right here, the fescue is. Um, and then it's, it's pretty thin in a few areas here. Um, over underneath that tree there is very thin. And then over here again, this is, this is almost all uh, broadleaf weeds. Um, very, very little fescue in here. There's a, ball, a bundle of it. A little, little bit mixed in through here, not much. But as you get close to the driveway, it's just all broadleaf. <clears throat> so I would uh, assume that there's Bermuda underneath this broadleaf that's just now coming up and gonna fill in. Um, that's the grass that uh, goes brown in the winter and is green during the summer. So my recommendations for this would be uh, if you get on the program um, I think maybe we should take out a lot of these really easy to handle weeds um, early on like right now um, take those out but not 100% take out the clover and violet just yet maybe save that for uh, late summer because I'm afraid that if we take all the broadleaf out um, I'm afraid we're going to be looking at some dirt. I could be wrong. The customer may be able to fill us in on that. If there's a, a lot more Bermuda in here, here, and over there, then, then I can tell just yet. Um, I, I would just be a little bit afraid. This is a really thick area of clover here. I'd be afraid to take that out for fear that there's nothing underneath it that will fill in that hole. Um, and we want our Bermuda to grow as healthy as possible right now to hold its... So that soil together hold the soil together on the front yard especially on these slopes um so we don't want to damage that right now and when we when we take out the um clover and violets we will uh, do a little bit of damage to the bermuda it won't kill it it'll just stun it <clears throat> stun it for a little bit but i would recommend men coming in in the fall and doing just basically seeding everything maybe uh except that that area on the hillside over there where the neighbor's lawn care is coming over. There's a decent amount of good fescue there, but the rest of it looks like it would need seed um, to, to thrive. And then also, this, this would be a customer tolerance question. Um, they said they wanted it above average lawn. Uh, we can definitely give them that. We can give them that or showcase or whatever they uh, desire. But some people don't like the Bermuda mixed in. Um, they don't, they don't like the brown in the winter. They want it to be uh, green all year, which I totally understand. That's, that's how my lawn is right now. It's degree, all, all green year round <clears throat> and I like it. So if the, the customer wants that and doesn't want to tolerate the browning out of the Bermuda, um, we can do what's called a remove and replace. So we would basically wait till this fall while we could start treatments now and get the soil charged and ready, ready to grow some grass. Um, but in, in the late summer, come through and just kill everything that's here. Uh, it's the only real, real way to get rid of the Bermuda. Kill everything that's here and then come back and see with just tall fescue and have it be 100% tall fescue lawn. But if the Bermuda browning out in the winter doesn't bother you, um, we can just leave it and have a mixed lawn of Bermuda and tall fescue. And we can even seed through the, the Bermuda this fall and 
have green grass coming up through the Bermuda as it's dormant in the winter. Um, that's that's one possibility, or you can just have straight Bermuda in some areas and, and tall fescue mixed in wherever it takes hold. But I, I would definitely foresee this needing seed in the fall just due to the bare spots and the unknowns that's underneath the, the thick layer of broadleaf. So yeah, it's total remove and replace or uh, just seed the areas that need some seed and let the Bermuda thrive. So we can do whichever, whichever the customer prefers. Well, we'll be happy to help you out. Just let us know. Evan with Green Thumb out.